Apexo have reached out to me asking me to take a look at their digital handheld microscope. Now Apexo have sent me this digital handheld microscope free of charge. I do get to keep it after I've done the review. However, that won't impact my judgment in this review. Normally I wouldn't review something like this, but then I thought I'm gonna have a look at this thing because it looks like it could be fun when we're out and about. This is the Apex or APL MS008 handheld microscope. It's a 12 to 24 magnification handheld microscope. It has a one to five times a digital zoom as well. It's manual focusing with the focusing ring. It has a six LED ring light on the front to light up your subjects in dark areas. It comes complete with a two inch IPS screen. It's for stills and video. It has a battery life of three hours and takes two hours to fully charge up. It's made of APS plastic and has a charging port via a USB-C. Those are the technical specs as I have read them from the website. If you want more information, then check out the link in the description that will go to their website and you can get more information about this little thing. In the box, you also get a cleaner for the screen. You get a USB charging cable and a very useful, what appears to be waterproof pouch to put your microscope into that is very useful so as i said this isn't normally something i would say yes to i always get asked to review things like this but when i saw this little handheld microscope it reminded me of when i was at the photography show where there was a stand that had like three thousand pound microscopes there, and it was very fascinating and i thought to myself this could be a nice little thing to introduce myself into the world of microscopes and microphotography. Microphotography is where you are using microscope objectives to photograph things in greater magnification than 10 times. So we take a look around this little digital microscope. Again, it's made out of ABS plastic. It's got a two inch screen here and we have some buttons for operation. I'll get to those in a minute. Here we have the USB-C port and a port for the micro SD card. However, the microscope doesn't come with the SD card. You have to purchase that separately. It's got a nice rubber flap over it. I wouldn't say any of this is waterproof, so don't take it out in extreme weather. Here we have the focusing ring. Then underneath we have the actual lens itself and the LED ring light. Now to turn it on, we're just going to hit the power button. You can then hold it and it will come on with a nice little welcome screen. We have a menu, we've got shooting methods, continuous shooting, uh, take pictures in a loop, sharpness. Again, this is all digital sharpness, so I wouldn't touch that myself. Uh, you can adjust the colour, exposure compensation. That comes in useful when it's a little bit too bright, because if it's too dark, we have the LEDs that can light up your subject. If it's too bright, then you might need to adjust your compensation. All I did when we was out and about with this is I just got my door to the stand in the way of the sun. Works a lot better than messing around in the menu. A quick preview, date labels, a lot of different options. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't really mess around with the options much. The only option that I was really interested in was the video side of stuff. Let's be honest with you, at this price point, your images and videos are not the best quality. They're nowhere near as good as what's coming out of my EOS R. So I immediately skipped to the video option. So if you press the M button, once it flips it over into the video options and then we press and hold it to access the menu and we have the resolution we've got 1080p or 720 i said to 1080p and then we've got different options like loop video exposure conversation again could be useful in right situations so again when we're looking at something now let's have a look around the desk see what we've got we've got something there i don't know what that is we can short press the on button to start recording or take a photo and we have the focus so this focus ring here just focuses it's very simple to use believe me my desk is clean I might give it a bit of a rub once i finish with this video but it is clean okay <laughs> well yeah you can see there the type of fun that you can have with this microscope so again we have a digital zoom so we can zoom in more and again it is a digital zoom as you zoom in it will show the noise and grain a lot more and we can also control the lights long pressing the plus button will increase the brightness of the light Long pressing the minus button will turn it down. And we have three levels. We've got on or off, level one, and level two. I mostly used this in level one. It was perfectly okay for my needs. So as you can see from the footage, the images and the video are not very high resolution. There's a lot of noise and grain. Nowhere near the quality that I can get with my EOS R. But I don't believe I'm the type of audience, the type of person that would use something like this. I think this is more targeted towards 
kids because it's one of those niche little things that you can put into your school bag and run around the schoolyard with. So I gave it to the next best YouTube reviewer, which is my daughter. I gave it to her and I let her run around the local nature reserve with this microscope. And boy, did we have some fun. We were looking at everything. It opened up a whole new world of things that you would normally walk past. And we wasn't, we was having a look. We were putting it against tree bark. We were looking for little insects. We was looking at moss, different pieces of wood, stones. We was looking at everything. But the fun part came when we came across this bench. And this bench, we've sat on it every time we've done a video, we've sat on it and just chatted and, you know, have a break while in between doing videos. But we never looked very closely, but when you look very closely, you can see a lot of little bugs. Now, I don't know what this black bug is, but it is having a right little feast on whatever is on the bench. I don't know if it's eating the wood or if it's eating some feces that's on the bench. And then later on, we found this little guy. This, I believe, is a little springtail. I believe, I'm not 100% sure what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. But look at the cute face on that. <laughs> we did have so much fun running around with this thing. Way more fun than I thought I would have. So this is actually going to go in my bag whenever Jessica comes out with me to do a video so we can just get it out and just have some fun and have a look at something under the microscope. I wish there was a more pricier option that has a better video not necessarily in 4k or anything but just less noisy and grainy the uh, the 1080p footage to me almost looks like it's just 720 that's just been upscaled i don't know if that's what it is actually doing that's just what it looks like but for the price point this thing is absolutely fantastic and i had way way more fun with this than i was expecting to so that is the Apex or APL MS008 handheld microscope. So much fun to have, particularly at the price point. It's something you could get your child for their birthday or a stocking filler. I had a lot of fun when we took the microscope out to our local nature reserve, but don't take my word for it. Let's ask Jessica what she thought. What did you think of this microscope? It was really good. You liked it? There you go. That gets the Jessica seal of approval. If you want to check out more information or indeed purchase this digital handheld microscope, then check out the links in the description. They are affiliate links. They help to give a kickback to the channel, but it doesn't cost any extra money to you. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting this channel. It is very much appreciated. Indeed, if you do want to check out my Patreon community, then go down into the description and check that out as well. But that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. And we did a little bit of running around and testing with this microphone. I had a lot of fun when take. Oh God, here we go again. Looks like I can't remember that. It was genuinely a. God damn it. God damn phone. Where is it gone? Ah, yeah, it's there, Dad. Ah, spider, spider.